everyone. Welcome to Thoughts of Treasures. It's Connie. Welcome, welcome. How is everybody doing tonight? If you do not see that little red live button at the top of the screen, I'm not sure what my computer's doing, but that is very strange. If you don't see that little red live button at the top of the screen, you are watching replay. Hashtag replay. Let me know that you were there or that you were here. If you do see the little red live button, <coughs> I don't know what my computer is doing. It is like, let me try to get it pulled up over here. <laughs> I'm kind of scared that I'm not going to be able to. That's not going to be good. If you are jumping on, say hey, let me know that you're here. Okay, um, seriously. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if it went back to where it was supposed to go. I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Technical difficulties here a minute. Story of my life, basically. But if you guys are popping on, say hey, let me know that you're here. I don't see comments yet, so I don't know what FB is doing to me. <clears throat> I hope, I hope, I hope this is not going to be a bust. <laughs> All right, hold on, let's go. I'm not even sure if I'm live. If anybody's out there, say something to me because I cannot see comments whatsoever. <coughs> Yikes. All right, well, I'm just going to give it a few minutes. If it does, nothing changes. I'm going to skadoodle out of here and try it again. But we're going to see. I don't know what it's doing. All right, well, we'll just give it a few seconds. Like I said, I'm not sure what is going on. It is not showing anything over here. says live there but it doesn't show anything here so I'm gonna give it a few seconds <coughs> and see if anybody comes on oh there's a comment hey Penny okay all right well then we are live okay good I was freaking out for a second because it was not showing me anything over here I mean like normally it shows me something it's not showing me anything on my computer but I was like it says live there, but it's not live here, so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right, good, good, good. All right, there's my, hey, Melissa, how are you? Phew, I was getting worried there for a second. I thought I was going to have to end this and come back in because it, it was it was doing some funny stuff. You know me, and, you know, things happen all the time, but this was just way weirder than normal. Maybe the storms knocked it into some, some other sense. I don't know. So how is everybody doing tonight? How are you? How are you? How are you? Well, thank you, Melissa, for sprinkling and watering. Yes, if you come on, please let me know if the sprinkler spread. That way I can put you down and put you into the bucket for the gift away at the end of the month. Um, I hope everybody's having a great day. Hey there, Lisa. What's up, woman? <laughs> thank you, Penny. How are you doing? <laughs> put tea down for Taylor. How are you doing? I hope everything's going good. We are, I'm just, I'm just letting, I'm trying to let FB do a little thing here first because I don't know what's going on. I see people are coming in, but it, like I said, it's still showing weird things on this screen over here and I don't know why. It's not normal looking screen, let's just put it that way. <clears throat> hey Haley, how are you? <laughs> There's Haley. How are you? <laughs> it might be the eyes. Well, I said I was going to give it a few seconds and see if um, I had to like let go and come back because <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? <laughs> I will own it. I will own it. <laughs> Welcome. Hey, Haley. Did were you invited? Because, you know, you could be entered into the gift away once we fill our states. All you have to say, if you were invited by somebody, just say who you were invited by and what state you're from. 
<laughs> Just saying. Fairest game, new new family. Fa <laughs> you were invited by your mother, and your mother would be. I'm just kidding. And what state are you from, Haley? Maryland. All right, there you go. I'm gonna put you down, Haley. Was invited by Penny, and she's from Maryland. Woohoo! Awesome state you're from. So anyway, we're gonna get started. I mean, I don't. I mean, I, you know, Tuesday or uh, what is today? Today's Monday. Mondays are my kind of short night if I have to go to therapy. Or, no therapy, fitness tomorrow, and I am actually gonna go to fitness. Can you believe it or not? Hmm. By the time I get my hiney back there, um, my sister-in-law tried to ditch again because she said her her air conditioning was work wasn't working in her um, van, and I said. It's my turn to drive. <laughs> She's like, oh, okay, well then we're we're on. <laughs> yeah, throw them GGs up if you if you can. Let's get them going and let's get these comments rolling and I don't know, it might be a slow night altogether, so maybe it's a good thing that I have a small project. We'll see. All is good. We can have those nights. <clears throat> so why am I Picking glue off off my hand. I didn't even touch anything yet. Thank you, Melissa. That's my favorite one of all. Well, hello, Jessica. How are you? Keep your eye on the numbers. Once we get to 10, we'll do our first scrolly scroll, and we'll go from there. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. <coughs> you hear rain again? Oh, God. Let me just tell you. It poured. We did a couple errands, and we were coming back. And we took the long way around because we wanted to see the construction that was happening on over there on Magnolia Road. And if we would have came home the shorter way, we probably would have either just got it, got in the house or maybe probably just got a little bit wet. I'm not sure yet. But we pulled up in the driveway and it just poured. I mean, it poured. I was like, Shh. well, we're waiting here. <laughs> No doubt about that. I'm not getting out. So. <clears throat> you wish dogs had a mute button. Oh, Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, yeah. Hmm. I ain't gonna lie. We had a package picked up today, and it was funny because she came up on the porch. She took the package. Neither one, neither one of the dogs said anything until, or that didn't bark, didn't do anything until we said, Oh. She's picking up, and as soon as like we looked out the window, that's when they got up and had to bark at her leaving. I'm going, okay, whatever. Hey, Jessica, how are you? Hey, Tracy, how are you? Hey, Sharon, how are you, my sweet friend? I am doing good. Um, <clears throat> So, we got a cute little quick project, I don't know, something different. And, you know, I usually use the Glowforge or the Cricut or both in, in one of my projects, and you know what? We're not using any of that. Hold up, hold up, I said it, we're not using any of that. They're deleting now, deleting what? Huh. Sleeping or deleting? <laughs> well, they're, they're sleeping, not deleting. <laughs> so if you can believe this or not, I am not using either one, okay? Shocking, I know. You're booking it on your joy. <clears throat> hey there, Teresa. How are you? Yeah, Ross has been on. I'm going to tell you, Ross is my um, new Tumblr guy, okay? I'm going to tell you, he has been rocking it. And he's got this Tumblr thing down like no tomorrow. He is loving it. And let me show you the new one he did today. He did some... He did multiples of the other one because we had orders for it but let me show you the new one that we did that is sold already it's, i posted it and it's sold let me get the sticker off first uh, forget the sticker and he's rocking it with them look at this isn't it cute i did post a, a little movement video on but isn't that awesome 
He is rocking it. He loves doing them now too. So he's 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 doing great. <laughs> Cracking the whip. I don't, honestly with that I don't even have to crack the whip with them. Now I print them out for them. I I've designed some of them. Um, not all of them are purchased. This one this one was a purchased one. I had seen it on Etsy and I thought it was cute to try. And yeah, he's he's got it down. <laughs> I was like, he was doing better than me, and I was like, you do it then. He's he's got it down. <clears throat> so, um, but I am designing a few of them, so I like designing. I don't know what it is, but I do find the designing part of things more exciting than actually crafting. And I don't mean it that way because I love crafting. Did you, yep, I did your mother one too. She's going to pick it up tomorrow. <clears throat> that one's already upstairs, boxed up, ready to go. Because <laughs> she said she was coming tomorrow. Oh, we're at 12. Oh, here we go. You ready? See, I'm not even paying attention. One, two, and three. And we have Melissa. Melissa, Melissa. Yep, throw them GGs up there. You guys can make sure you get on to the... Uh, there's Tracy, Tracy, Tracy with the XOs. <clears throat> yep, the more you comment, the more chance you get on there. So, you know, I mean, right now I don't really get up that high a number. So you want to keep commenting, keep commenting. All that good stuff. Today is the 18th. And you are number 10. Melissa, Melissa, number 10. <laughs> See? Anyway. <laughs> hey, Luann, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Hope you guys are doing good. I love when, I love when friends come on that I haven't seen in a while. That is like sticky as can be, but it's okay. We're either A, going to put it on the back, or... I got these cutting boards from DeRice. Which, you know, is no longer in business. <clears throat> oh, well, you're the best assist too, Tracy. The best assist friend. <laughs> Melissa? Come here. Come on over here. <laughs> Haley, you're the best assist too. <laughs> There's Louie and Gigi. Let's go. Rock them Gigi's out. So anyway, we're going to do something, like I said, there's no Cricut, there's no Glowforge involved whatsoever. This came from DeRice, um, which is no longer in business, which makes me sad and hurts my feelings, but it's okay. And this little guy came from, it is painted white and we're going to paint over it. I painted it white for something and never used it. Um, this came from the Dollar Tree. We're going to make a little... That's just a little cute thing, but we've got, I've decided, I was going to ask you guys to pick, but I've decided that um, we're going to go with the sunflowers. We're just going to do the sunflowers. We're going to Mod Podge over here, and I know it's going to be short, but that's okay. The box will hide it, and we're good with that. So we're going to Mod Podge the sunflowers on, and I'm not sure, I'm not, I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to put the hole in there. I think I'm going to leave it out because... I don't know, maybe, I, maybe I'll do the, um, I don't know yet, I haven't decided. I gotta put the hole in there, maybe I'll do the, do the, um, flame technique in there. Because I don't know how I'm gonna get it else, get it in there otherwise. We may do the flame technique. XXWWYY <laughs> ZZ <laughs> huh. I could pick with a pen, but I could use the, I could use the, um, flame and get it in there really good. But we're gonna get to that. First things first is, um, I'm gonna paint this little guy green, because you're gonna see the back of it. It's not hanging on the wall, so. I'm gonna poke you with a pen. <laughs> Just kidding, stop. That's, that's bullying. Stop it. Someone needs to create more letters. Oh, for the thing. I was gonna say, what are you talking about, oh? With Gigi. I, I don't understand why, I guess because it's good going, but I don't understand why GG is the only one that makes 
I mean, XOXO, yes, I get it. Red, and the other ones are all words, but GG is the only one that's like two letters. I guess it stands for good going, but why shouldn't you just write good going? I don't know. I don't know. Go figure that one out. So we're gonna we're gonna work with this and we're going to work with maybe we're gonna paint it green. I've got my little iron over here. Watch those numbers because I know we're kind of low tonight yet, so it's cool. <clears throat> oh, good game. Oh, well, then why can't you just write good game? Everything else you have to type out. I need answers, Vicki. I need answers now. <laughs> why green? Because of this, and you're going to see the back of it, and I think green will go good with it. Why, what color would you suggest? And I'm going to do this guy green, too. I'm going to make it green so that it sits on the front of here, and you see the green. Melissa, do you have a, do you have a, do you have a better suggestion? I'm waiting, because I think that might need to come down some a little bit, maybe. <clears throat> well, I need, I need chartreuse. Can anybody, can anybody supply me some chartreuse? <laughs> hey, Rebecca, how are you doing? There aren't any three choices. I decided that I'm going, because I didn't even print out anything to put on the front of it, so. That's why we're going with the sunflowers, because I, I, I'm not going to lie to you, I just didn't have time. And I couldn't make up my mind. And I was going to put a saying on the front of this box, but we're going to do something different. So there's no three choices. I made the choice. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to come up with a project of just pure interacting crafting. We haven't done that in a while. Like, total, from the start to the finish. I think that might be fun again. What mine? <laughs> Melissa, you're not being mean to me, are you? Did you, did you feed Keem tonight and he's out like a light again? What did we all have for dinner? Because I had Chick-fil-A and whew, I'm telling you, I stuffed. I stuffied. A colorful mermaid. You keep saying that. You want a mermaid? I don't know. I don't know what to do with a mermaid. You had Chick-fil-A for dinner? Because that's what we had. Aw, thank you for sprinkling my cute self out. See, you, Melissa, you should take notes from Jude. See how she's nice to me and and saying nice things about me? Green, I love, green is my favorite color. I love green. It's like some kind of pieces of the foam brush coming off. First, we're going to have to do a couple coats of green on this. Thank you for sprinkling. Put you down. I got Jackie down. How are you doing tonight? Yep, if we get to 15, holler at me. Holler at me. You had fish sandwiches? Sandwiches? Honey said she had to walk the dog. <laughs> That's all she does is walk those dogs. I tell you. <laughs> I was I was giving Ricky a hard time today about um the Patriots. Just kidding. Thank you, 
Tracy? And you probably did that 15 minutes ago and I'm just now seeing it. We, we, were, we were doing uh, football smack already on uh, Vicky's Live earlier today. I like me some football smack. I don't know about you, but I think it's fun. <laughs> I come to find out that Vicky's a Patriots fan. Oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't be friends with her anymore. That's it, done. <laughs> I mean, it, it is better than the Steelers, but not by much. But now that now that the um, the whiny baby's gone, I mean Brady's gone. You know, they may they might be okay. <laughs> Your day, so oh, Rebecca. I know, sweetie. I wish I could make things easier and. Nothing can. How did how did everything go today at the um, funeral home? Did you get all that taken care of? Your sister and your family. Well, I guess when you're in that area, you have to be. Well, I don't know. You're from New York, too. Where's your sister from? Patriots suck. Thank you, Jude. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> that was fine until 3 p.m. What happened at 3 p.m.? Something happened? Oh, gosh. I hope not. Massachusetts. See now, I guess if you're born and raised up there, or you're up there, you gotta gotta partake in that kind of nonsense. But you know, but I agree with you. Jude's got some good taste when she says things like that. The only thing worse is them Steelers. I think I think they're our worst rivals, so being from Maryland, you know. Oh why? <coughs> I know I haven't heard anything. Hey Rhonda, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Why did they tell you you had to be out? I know, I haven't, either that or he's, um, I don't know, he doesn't have anything to say. I can't imagine him not having anything to say. So how, how was your guys' day today? I mean, did you guys do anything fun, interesting, anything exciting? I know, oh wait, there he is. It took him. It took him a while to type that. I guess he had to. He had to think about that one, right, Ricky? <laughs> well, thank you, Rhonda, for the stars. I appreciate that. I'm not worried so much about painting the front while I am. I don't want to paint the front. If I get a little bit on, it's okay. Um, Scrapbooking paper is pretty thick, so it's not going to see through. Girl, Tracy, I'm with you on that one. I'm with you on that one. Coming up with a crap. Ooh, did you come up with one? Thank you, Penny, for sprinkling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I had my Ross is in bed too with a headache. I don't know. I think that boy just makes it up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I say that and I pick on him, but Hey, with the rain and the, the pressure in the air, whew, that headache, ooh. 
I think it, I don't know, did you, did, Jude, did you have any rain? Aw, thank you, Penny. You're the best assist, too. Oh, we're at 14. We're at 14. Come on, one more. We can do another scrolly scroll. <clears throat> See, I'm wondering if that's what it is, all the rain and the pressure in the air. I think it rained, I think it rained everywhere today. I'm not kidding. It, it poured here. And they were calling for... Tornado touchdown and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. When they say that, it never happens. And when they don't say it, that's when it happens. So I know it poured rain here, too. Trust me. We just pulled into the driveway. And Ross and I are like, well, I guess we're going to be waiting here for a while. I ain't getting out. <laughs> uh -uh. I made a sugar. I would be a melted puddle. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Why is there not any paint getting on my brush? Oh, Chasey, you're the best assist, too. You are, you are. You can tell it's Monday. I think it's Monday everywhere. Like I said, when I came on, I... I don't know, maybe maybe the internet's doing some funky things too, or if it's Facebook, I'm not sure which one, but when I came on, it's like, nothing was happening over here. It said live on my phone, but when I went over here, did you leave? <laughs> Ricky, did you chase her away? Um, <laughs> the uh, uh, computer was showing me absolutely nothing. I was like, um, that's not good. So I wasn't sure if I was really even live, and like nobody was coming on at first. I mean, it does take a few. I get it. Up, oh, we're at 16. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey there, Kay. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Ready? Let's scrolly scroll. One, two, and three. And we have Tracy Sommerfeld. Tracy, Tracy. Oh, I just swiped my comments away. Oh, Tracy, Tracy. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, that's not how you spell your name, but that's close enough. I know who it is. 18, 22, and number 15. All right, let me finish. Let me finish. I am, I, I am making just a little cute sign, not even a sign. There's no cricket involved and there's no Glowforge involved. Mark the day down in history, okay? Told you I'd do it once in a while. But we're just making a little cute little, I don't know, a box. I, I, I'm gonna make it to put soaps in, to sit on the kitchen counter, so, wait a minute. Let me, let me get the green off my fingers and I'll show you. For those that came on late. <laughs> Alright. So, here's the little box. And these are the only bottles I have, but they fit in here perfect. Okay. So, it's just kind of put two little bottles in. You could put your dish soap in there. You could put it in your bed. I mean, it's a cutting board, so I would think you'd put it in your, in your kitchen. But... <laughs> you heard me. Juju heard me. And um, we're going to paint this. But I'm not doing anything to these. And we're going to Mod Podge sunflowers onto this. Then we're going to you know, put a bell on there and do all kinds. We're going to make it pretty. We're going to make it pretty. And it'll probably still take me three hours to do. So, I, I mean, I don't know what a short project is, but... <clears throat> It should match my kitchen. Well, my kitchen's green and apples, but I, I, eventually I'm going to be redoing it. So I don't know if necessarily it'll be green anymore. I make things just to make. If I, if I sell them later, I sell them now, or I keep it, I don't know. But I didn't have anything with apples on it, so we weren't doing apples. 
<laughs> I know, right? No cricket, no glowforge. I'm telling you. I was, I was, I was going to put a cricket saying across here, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to say. I couldn't think of anything that wasn't. Tracy was trying to help me come up with a bunch of them, but I don't know, none of them kind of, hey, I like that. It was okay, that's cute, but I just, I didn't fall in love with anything. So I was like, you know what, we're not going to do it. We're going to do something different. And you guys might change my mind. We might put crabs on it. Who knows? Just saying. Y'all have done it to me before. Just saying. <clears throat> Alright. Get this green up off of here. Let's paint this box while we have the green out. And that can dry. <coughs> well, thank you, Lisa. Linda. Linda. Lisa. Where am I getting Lisa from? For sprinkling? How are you doing this evening? I should move this back up before I get paint all over it. Let me put it back here. Twisted my foot on the darn wheel. And we're gonna paint this green too. Everything's gonna be green. We're doing green. Yeah, that's the one she came up with last night. The dishes are looking at me. Uh, th the dishes are looking at me dirty again. But I was like, that kind of seems kind of long. She said no, but I don't know. It just, it wasn't, it wasn't. You're doing good? <laughs> I don't know where Vicky's walking them dogs to. Did she come back yet? It just seemed like a lot of words for this little space. That's the only thing I was thinking. I don't know. I know, I was kind of being indecisive, so I was like, you know what, we're not putting anything on it. I could always put something on it later, if I decide. Small steps every day. There you go. That's a good one. That's encouraging words. I think small steps every day is perfect. How are you, Bonnie? Welcome, welcome. If you are new to my page, welcome. If you're a first timer, hashtag new and let me know where you're watching from. If you're a silent watcher or if you've been on and I just don't know your name, I apologize. I'm trying to, I like to, <laughs> well there's Vicky. Did you get them dogs walked? <laughs> I love to meet new people so, you know, I kind of like to get to know everybody so when new names come flashing across the screen, I kind of Ooh, that's a new name. I know, we were extremely worried. What happened? A thickamajig hole. It could be that, too. It could be used for anything. I mean, it doesn't have to be for soap. Um, I don't know. It could be anything. You could, stick, you could stick your salt and pepper shakers in it. You could, I don't know. I was just thinking it would be cool to hold the little bottles. Oh, you're second time. You're a second timer. See? Well, I'm glad the first time I didn't scare you away. <laughs> well, I'm glad you came back, Bonnie. I hope you're following. If you're not, I mean, I hope you will. <laughs> Jude. Welcome, Jude. I'm so glad you're a first timer. Oh, thank you for following. Did you have you followed yet? <laughs> Jude's a mess. <laughs> you came back. You came back. <laughs> oh, we're at 15. We did 15. We need to get to 20. Where have you been at, Melissa? Did you snooze for a little bit? <clears throat> we need to get to 20. So you had me all excited. I was about ready to put my little tray down, my little crate down. Tell me, tell everybody to get to me 20, 20. We need to get to 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Isn't that a show? Or did I just date myself? Is that still on? 
Let's talk about old shows. What show did you watch when you were a kid that you absolutely loved? Boom Chicka Pop. <laughs> Is that stuff any good? Seriously. I'm painting the bottom of this just because I got some paint on it. I don't have a live button? What do you mean I don't have a live button? We're at 14. Little house. Oh, there you go. I remember that one. Laura, the, the Engel fam, Engel family, Engel, Engel family, something like that, whatever it is. I was going to say, Vicki, what are you talking about? What do you mean I don't have a live button? There's a... Vicki, put down the wine. <laughs> put down the wine. I've never had that, so I don't know. Aw, oh, go take your shower, Jude. But tell Vicki I have a live button. <clears throat> the Three Stooges. That, that was actually my friend's favorite, favorite thing. He collected everything uh, Three Stooges. <clears throat> Dukes of Hazard. Oh, Penny, Penny's got them all down. She likes them all. <laughs> Vicky, go go out and come back in. <clears throat> Ricky probably did something when he was on. Blame blame Hub. <laughs> was, was Roadhouse the show or the movie? My Pa Kettle. Oh my God, that just that just dated. <laughs> hey girlfriend, how are ya? Hey, Tracy, Tracy. It, it wasn't showing uh, yet yeah, the Roadhouse, the movie. Okay, I was going to say, I didn't know there was a Roadhouse, the show. You confused me for a minute, Penny. <laughs> See? He did it. He did it. I guarantee he did something to her phone when she wasn't looking. Do you know, as, as speaking of that, when um, we get when we get together with the girls, that we have, there's a group of girls that we always get together that you know we've been friends for the longest time. When we get together, if you happen to leave your phone, of course we all have locks on our phones and we don't know each other's lo uh, combo things. But you can take pictures, even though the person's phone is locked. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. Well, we all have iPhones. I don't know if it works with an Android. With the iPhone, you can still take pictures with it being locked. Um, so it's fair game when somebody leaves their phone. You better believe <laughs> that there's going to be someone picking it up and taking pictures. <laughs> yeah, pop back on about an hour. I'll still be here. I don't know. Hopefully not. But <laughs> you love mom, pa kettle. How are you doing, Shelly? Welcome, welcome. I think yours, that uh, sounds like a new name. I don't think I ever know, I've seen or conversed with. <clears throat> All the greases are good. Let me get this dried. And I'm not giving it full, full coverage, and I'm going to do the top, but I'm not going to do the inside. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Well, welcome, welcome. Is this your first time here? If it is, welcome. I should introduce myself. My name is Connie. Look, you're, you're doing a lot of um, movies there, Penny. I like the movies, too. Those are good. Um, my name's Connie. I am from uh, Thoughts of Treasures, and I'm from Maryland. I have grew up here my entire life, except for three months, but... I don't count that because I was only three months old. Sixteen? Come on, we can do. We got. We can get to twenty. We'll get to twenty. It's still. The night is still young. The night is still young. <sighs> <clears throat> it's 
So please don't be shy. Talk. We do. We 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 throw the GGs around in here too. So if you ever wonder what that is, please just you know, if you're on a phone or a tablet, you can do it. Just type in GG and you'll see fist bumps come up. And we're a big old happy family around here. What am I making? Well, can't you tell? I mean, I made this from wood. Vicky, mark the day down. This is the first night that I am not going to be using any Cricut or Glowforge item. Maybe I'll have to put some... No, I'm not even going to do that. There's going to be no Glowforge or Cricut in here. And if you guys don't know me, you have to know that every single project I do, there's either some kind of Glowforge or some kind of Cricut item, decal, something involved. But not tonight. I'm going to change it up and we're going to do something different. Working it. And stop. Don't make me start singing, Penny. Don't make me start singing. Ah. Jude, I know. You're the best this is too. All right, so we're going to put this aside to dry. Let that finish drying. And then we're going to work on... I think that, that, that shouldn't interfere. We are going to work on putting our paper. Oh no, I gotta, I gotta paint the inside of this hole. Stop! Stop! Stop a minute! Stop! You're going too far. <laughs> Look at that! Look at this! Look at this! A whole sheet of it, Melissa. A whole sheet of it. Rocky. Oh, there you go. That's, that's some, that's some. This is like a hard paintbrush. <laughs> Look. That little dog sign I did. Gone. I mean, it's there, but it's gone. <laughs> Y'all didn't want me putting no Rafi on that. Well, guess what? Gone. So I might put some Rafi on this. Just like this. Just letting you know. Come on, it's not me if it doesn't have a little bit of raffia or oh overboard. She's a uh, hoverboard. I was like, I was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> Penny, you watch a lot of movies. Well, we'll try it. Well, hold on. Melissa, stop getting ahead of me. I gotta, I gotta paint. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter because the thing's gonna cover it. But, wait a minute, we'll see. Just, just calm down. Calm down. I have to get in this hole because if I... Can you guys rush me? No wonder, no wonder I can't get this done in an hour. Y'all trying to rush me and then I have to go slower. It's all right. It's okay. I can ignore you. We'll put we'll put Melissa on mute for a while. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and if you guys don't know, I do know Melissa personally, so that's why she gives me a hard time. Well, there's Angela. How are you? Wonder Woman, oh god, you, know, you remember um, Six Million Dollar Man and all that? Oof. I tell you. We were talking about, um, I don't even know how we got on something. Oh, they were talking about, I don't know, what Yellowstone or whatever that thing is. I don't know. I didn't watch it. I have no clue. But I said, is that the one with Sam Elliott in it? And of course I was wrong because they told me no. Um. Oh, aren't you swift there, Melissa? Look at you go, girlfriend. Aren't you intelligent? Come here, I'll give you a cookie. Ah. <laughs> the only thing, like I can't even. I was gonna do this. Look, look Melissa said, turn it, turn it clockwise, or turn it. Diamond shape. Look at that. 
Well, Melissa. I'll give you I'll give you a clap for that. <laughs> oh, let me get the let me oh, I gotta move that. Let me get the let me get the Mod Podge. I already have my little iron. Iron 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 iron. <laughs> Nope, the cookie does not have icing on it whatsoever. <laughs> the bi I'm a Bionic Man. I Was that one Bionic Man? I don't remember that one. I remember watching the Bionic Woman. Bionic Man? One or the other. I don't remember. Hmm. You know, I don't even have any sugar. I don't, honestly. I I swear, I honestly don't. Y'all know that, you, you, you do know that I, well, I mean, I still make cakes, don't get me wrong. But I've cut back on them a lot. So... You know, I, I've done two cakes this week, this month, and that's all I have for this month. And that's like when I was doing like four a week. <laughs> but the funny thing was, of course, those two cakes had to be the week when I was completely like, Ugh. yeah. So I don't even have a lot of stock on my sugar. Like, you know, I usually... I went to Aldi's like all the time because I used their sugar. They, were, they had the best sugar. I don't care for generic. That stuff was good. Way better than Domino's. I don't know. Probably the same exact thing. Monk fruit icing. I have never. I I, I have. Well, I don't know if I still do or not. I monk fruit is the best sweetener. If you are looking for for diabetic or you're looking for sweet treats without the, um, you know, sugar. <laughs> you remember the love boat? I remember the love boat. But that stuff's expensive. Definitely not cheap. Cause I was I made some um, I don't know if I made them right but I made some fat bombs a while ago and used the monk fruit and honestly you could not tell the difference I thought actually they were way sweeter than they should have been it's like you almost have to cut down on the monk fruit because it's way way too sweet all right I think that is all I need for that You're ordering a 25-pound bag from Walmart of what? Sugar? Icing sugar? Confectionery sugar? Uh, I, I, what, do, what do you guys call that stuff? Powdered sugar, the stuff that you make icing with. Do you call it icing sugar? Or do you call it, um, what is monk fruit? Monk fruit is a sweetener that is good for, it's, it's not sugar, it's just a sweetener. But it's way better for you than stuff that they put in Diet Coke aspartame um, is not good for you at all they even tell you if you have like any health issues like um, confection that's what I call it confection sugar okay I'm seeing same powdered sugar confection sugar does anybody call it icing sugar but monk fruit is the if because um, I know my sister-in-law she has MS and her doctor told her do not take anything that has aspartame in it, um, you know, diet stuff that has aspartame in it, and a lot of, and it's the cheaper. Of course, that's how they make, um, they can make the Cokes and stuff cheaper because of that. French toast topping. <laughs> Melissa, 
boy, you are a nut. Now, no one calls it that. I call it powdered sugar. I do. Oh, thank you, Arlene. You are awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. See, you guys know when I Mod Podge, I do not Mod Podge with it wet. I dry it and iron it on. I don't know who ever even thought of doing that, but I'm telling you that's the only way I've, I would ever Mod Podge. I did not like to Mod Podge before this method was ever around, and this could have been around for years and years and years. Well, thank you, Penny, for sprinkling. You did the white sugar on, on funnel cakes. Well, that's powdered sugar. You're not supposed to put regular sugar on it. Oh, he calls it the stuff on... Okay, I got you. I know, I'm telling you, whoever, whoever decided, oh, let me try to iron my paper on, is a genius. Well, you're the best at this, too. Because I would never... And I never, ever, 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 ever like the whole laying it on wet, and especially napkins, because you only have one chance. And then you had to take that um, wrap and, and no, I don't know, that, no, it still had wrinkles everywhere. No, oh, come on, can we get the 20? We can get the 20. Come on. One more. One more. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Let's go. I'm watching. I'm watching. Oh, now it says 17. Come on. Now it says 16. See, we scared him away. You know, there's really no right or wrong to this, so we're going to stick it on like this. Make sure everything's covered. Since my genius friend said to do it like this, I can't believe. Hi, Elaine, how are you? Welcome, welcome. With a blow dryer. <laughs> they were like, well, I'm out of here. They took one look at my hair and said, Phew, she knows nothing about hair. Bye bye. <laughs> she said bye bye. <laughs> I did come up with um because every time that little that little tiny iron that you'll see come up in a second, um, well I like to plug it in, but it's like it falls over all the time. Oh, we are. Oh, 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 oh. see, there we go. Ready? One, two. Three, and we have, we have, wait a minute, let me talk here, Penny Simpson, Penny Penny, it was landed on a watcher, I had to go up above the watcher, Penny is number 20, you're getting a she shed, there you go, Rebecca, I need a, I need a shed, I don't need a she shed, I need a he shed so he can put some junk out there and get it out of my, my way. Um, 18, 22, this is number 20. Alright, come on, we could do 25, right? We can get to 25 tonight. Come on, come on. Alright, so my, since my genius friend... Trying to make sure this is all covered. Before I do this. But, I always had the issue with it falling over. And, you know, it's like real lightweight. Well, my, my little drawer here has a handle on it. And I just kind of clipped it on there so that I can leave it lay there. <laughs> So when I unplug it, it can cool off there, too. After all these years. I know. 
that's what I, I, I said that, and I said that, but my genius friend Melissa, she said if you turn a caddy corner, you can get it all on, so, I mean, I would have been wasting most of the paper anyway on here, so it didn't matter. Ooh, cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I told Ross I'd be happy with a little um, plastic one from BJ's. I mean, or Costco, or whatever you want to call it. Just to store some boxes in. We don't, we don't have a basement here. I always say I'm downstairs. And my house, it's kind of like where I am is like an enclosed garage. It, it was never, when we bought the house, it was never a garage. It was always an enclosed one. We have a separate garage that's not attached to the house. But this one, um, you know, you have to go out our kitchen, go down a few steps. That's why I always call it the downstairs. <clears throat> that's pretty cool, Rebecca. So are you still thinking about doing lives and going and doing all that? Hey, Krista, Krista, how are you, my friend? See, now, I always like to go back, and I'll keep this little iron on until I get everything off, and I'll go back at the end, and I'll re-iron just to make sure I got everything once every all this paper's off. So, I'm going to stick my little iron back over here on its little hook now that it doesn't fall over. Pretty simple. Pretty simple, and I don't know why I didn't think about it earlier. If you've ever answered why, but I mean, again, you don't have to answer on here if you don't want to. But how come they're making you leave? I'm just cutting off the excess so I don't have to. Get all that on there. This is, this is uh, cardstock or scrapbooking paper, whatever you want to call it. So it's a little bit harder to get off. So the less you have there, it's easier. <laughs> Best way to say it, right? Right, right, right. All right. Let me get my little... Let's get this, let's get this going. <laughs> Pookie and pumpkin. Punky and Pookie. There's a little pea in here, isn't there? <laughs> I see a little pea going on. <laughs> Vicky, good night. Go to sleep. <laughs> I know it's way past your bedtime. Are you going on tomorrow at 5 o'clock? Not that I'll see you. <laughs> Not that I'll be anywhere. Yeah, my little sister's husband. Oh, wow. this paper off. <laughs> that, that piece of paper landed right in Sydney's mouth. Imagine that. And she spit it out. Hmm. <clears throat> yep, so back to fitness I go tomorrow. I don't know how that's going to be. Y'all might have, and I'm in an event tomorrow, so I don't know how that's going to be. I might be like, ooh. 
Here, let me slap this on. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all and let me slap this together. Gator guy is awesome. Awesome, 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 I tell you. What do you guys think? Should I or should I not put the hole in? Yes or no? Well, thank you, Krista, for sprinkling. I lost my pen. Oh, there it is. Should I put the hole in? Should I? Should I? Should I? What event? I am in tomorrow's event. I will be, I don't even know what time I'm on. I think I'm on at 8 or 9. Ah, I don't know. I don't know what time I'm on, um, but I am on tomorrow. I did post the thing, but I don't think it had times on it. I don't know. Is Vicky still on here? Let me ask her. <laughs> Poking. All right. All right, guys. I'm probably going to have to do the burn method. I mean, the... Anything, anything that's going to get in there. You ready for this? doesn't want to let me put these sides back up since I put them down maybe they'll catch on I'll have it concentrating over here. It's pouring there now. Mark it. Mark it what? I know I did too, but Karen, they made me do it. burn as well. I mean, flame. Stop making me say that. I don't have a nail file. Do you see, do you see nails? <laughs> do you see nails? get it hold on you don't want to burn the house down I mean God, stop saying that you don't want me to um, I don't even know what to say 
Were you not here earlier when I said Ross is sound asleep in the bed? I'd take you up there and let you hear him snoring. Hold up, we're almost there. I just gotta get this one section off. Hold on. There we go. Done. <laughs> Use an exacto knife. I could have done that. I did have one of those sitting here. You don't understand. I like to do things the difficult way. <laughs> and I like you all yelling at me, going. All right, let me just do it one last time. Make sure all the edges are on now that I can see the exact edge. That's a good, that's a, I, I do, I should get that. I should get a little toolbox full of things like that. And have them stationed right here. I know Ross has got, Ross probably has like 10,000 things, but again, not here. I, I think this is on good. Now I'm going to unplug this so it can cool down. I don't have to fear it falling over because it's on the door, on the drawer handle. All right. Put this up. Let me get all this mess off of here. And now we have that. Isn't that cute? Perfect just like that. We're going to get our box. We're going to glue our box onto here, and I'm going to use a little bit of this tight bond with a little bit of the hot glue so that it gives it a stronger bond, but a quick hold with the hot glue. You know, I, I had some emery boards, but I got them from the Dollar Tree, and those things are junk. I ain't gonna lie to you. Those things are junk. They did not do anything. Now, if anybody has never used this glue, I highly recommend it. I think it's really good. However, it does come with a little stopper thing. Well, thank you, Elaine. Ooh, 23. Ooh, well, we were 20. I see 20 now. Um... It does come with a stopper thing, but I, I, I'm going to be honest with you, the dog ate it. <laughs> well, she didn't eat it, she chewed it up. It's, she says that when it's on the floor, it's fair game, and it did fall on the floor. So when I put this on, I'm going to get it exactly even, I'm going to sit it up. <coughs> So I just keep this little thing, which I do have to get a new one on there. And that's probably not even going to be cleared out. So how are you guys doing tonight? What has been going on? Anything? I mean, are you guys doing anything fun this week? I know it's Monday. I know we have a jam-packed full thing. I, I was supposed to make some phone calls today. And that never happened. Um, why is this not coming out? Pull 
When are you going to the pool? Aw, oh, Jude, you're the best. You came back already. You probably never even left. right here on the top. Now we're going to set this up. I'm going to eyeball this. Hold on a second. Now we're just got this cute little, this cute little thing. We're not done yet. We're not done yet, but we are done with this. So let's get this cleaned up and put the thing back on so it doesn't blow out. Please. <laughs> Brayden's got floaties. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm a drown. <laughs> hey there, Bonnie. How are you? It's kind of a, a, a long slot. Here, let me show you. See how it's long? So a nail really wouldn't work. It's got to be longer. This works as long as I can keep it on there nice and tight. Not just, just plastic wrap. I mean, that cling, and, cling pressing steel, whatever it's called. All right, so now. Now you all get to tell me yes or no, and remember, hold on, <coughs> remember I have feelings, but what if we paint these, we'll just leave them wood, we can do whichever. Put some tape, well that's what's over it, it's the press and seal stuff. I don't know if I like them. Maybe the smaller ones would be better. Hold on. I did. Uh, it's it's that press and seal stuff. So it um. These fit better. It could be a napkin. It could be a lot of different things. It does not necessarily have to be for bottles. I mean, I just kind of thought the soap bottles fit in there nicely. All right, let's see. What do you guys think about putting that on there? Can you see that? Leaving them the wood color, maybe? I don't know. I don't even think I was, I was going to paint them white, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, putting the hole in it, you could hang it up on the wall, too. You could put flowers in it. You could put salt and pepper in it. There's lots of different uses for it. Throw your keys on it. You could even put like little hooks on here in the front and hang your keys in it. Maybe put some mail in it. <laughs> you say, Raphia, <laughs> we're not there yet. But do you guys like the beads? I think I like the beads on the front. But we're going to put the beads on the front. I just don't know. Should I paint them white or leave them... Leave them that's what I was thinking. You could put little hooks on the front of it for keys, and you could hang it right on your door, by your door, by your kitchen door. Lots of, lots of interesting things, I'm telling you, but we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Because we're going to put a little fancy bow on here, and, but do you think I should leave them plain or paint them white?
you can put it on the side of a cabinet. Paint them yellow. Ooh, okay, let's do that. We can do that. I don't think about yellow, but yellow works. See that? We will paint them yellow. Paint them brown. I think we're going to do yellow. I don't know who suggested that. If we're, Elaine. Elaine? I think she was the first one that said yellow. Hey, Jody, how are you? Yep, we're going to paint them yellow. And I don't know if I have any hooks that I could put on there. Yeller. Yeller. I like that. Let's paint them yeller. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got me some nice bright yellow. We're going to paint them yellow. All right, let's put that over here for a second. Let me get a paintbrush. You just came back in from the movies. What did you say? We need, we need to get to 25. Come on, we can do it. I'm going to need some more yeller. My, my yeller's getting low. <laughs> I can read your thing. <laughs> Penny's suggestion, what did she say? Well, thank you, Lori. How are you doing? Or Lois, I'm sorry, not Lo it's Lo Lois. It's Lois. Well, look before you <laughs> combine the yellow and brown. Maybe dry brush. Well, let's see. Let's let's see. The, this yellow might be bright, so let's try. Let's get them painted first. bit of brown on them. Why not? All right, we can do that. And we have to make a cute little ribbon for it. Bow for the top and we're going to put a little jute around the, the neck and put a bow there. Well, welcome, welcome. I see that, I mean, I don't recognize the name, so hopefully you're new and following and I hope you enjoy. I usually this is this is a very odd night for me. Not that not being on. I mean I'm odd every night. That doesn't that doesn't explain anything. But usually I'm doing something with the cricket or the glow forge and nothing tonight. No glow forge or cricket is involved and I'm just shocked. Heartbroken. Not really. Not really. I was just I was just mixing it up for you guys going look you know what I can do a project without without both we can do this I'm not gonna lie I love my Cricut and Glowforge did you put it on him how is he doing with it Lisa Does he respond to it? Need to do cups again? You mean the sublimation cups? Okay, let, let me tell you. I don't do them anymore. Ross does them. Ross is my sub guy. I told him, I said, you pick it up. You learn it. He's a heck of a lot better at it than me. I ain't gonna lie. I struggle with getting it on, um, the, the paper on straight and all this. He's, he's a pro at it. <laughs> Complete pro. And it did not take him long to, fit, to do it at all. He messed up one cup. And technically, 
I don't know if it was already messed up to begin with. What did I use for the sunflowers? You mean on the back of the paper? This paper? You can, like you can see that. This paper? It's scrapbooking paper. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> Melissa, I did not say that. <laughs> Hi Maureen, how are you? Welcome, welcome. I see some new faces on. If you are new, welcome, welcome. I hope you'll get the chance to get to know me. I'm just a crazy old person just crafting away. Like I said, this is kind of a new thing for me tonight. I'm not saying I don't ever craft without the Cricut or the Glowforge. I'm saying usually that's what I'm doing. But I thought, you know what? I wasn't feel I was gonna put a saying on the front of this thing and I was like, you know what, I just wasn't feeling anything and I was just seeing sunflowers in the green and I wanted to do that and I just wasn't feeling any kind of saying going on it. You ever get that? I mean maybe I'll find something later and we can put it on, but nothing was coming to me. I like sunflowers too. There's only two types well like three types. I do like um the 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 H one, hibiscus, hibiscus, is that what they're called? I don't know the name of them, I don't know how to say them. Sunflowers, and I do like the ones that Melissa calls, um, what do you call them, fried eggs, sunny side up eggs, what do you call them? The daisies, she calls them fried eggs or something like that. You know, it, I'm telling you, uh, Sydney is on the, um, which she has not had on her lately, because we were sick and we haven't gone anywhere, but <laughs> Sydney has the, um, tens collar, sunny side up things, that's what you called them, <laughs> um, she has the tens collar, and she works good with it, I mean, honestly, she puts the collar on, she knows that she's in, she has to behave. Not saying that she doesn't behave when it's not on, um, but when it's on, she knows, straighten up, I got it, dippy eggs, dippy eggs, there you go. <laughs> um, she, but she, she, it's consistency, you have to be consistent. But now here's my thing about dogs barking. I get it, you gotta be careful with this, okay? But a dog's instinct is to bark. When you start training it to not bark, when you want it to bark because there's a stranger or there's something going on, they're not going to respond. So be careful about that. I mean, you do you, you do you, boo, you do you. I always say that. But I'm just saying, be careful. My dogs annoy the bejesus out of me. But when they're barking, they're actually barking at something, whether it be the leaf that flew by, or whether it be, um, oh, well, I'm glad, you, like, Elaine, there's a, um, if you ever see me do anything, and you like the decal, or you like the, the, the wood item that I do, I do sell just the pieces, so if you, and if you, if I make it on 11 by 14, and you only wanted it on 5 by 7, I can customize it down to what you want. So that's there's no problem with that. So you don't have to feel like, oh, well, I want to craft that, but hmm, never mind. Move on. No, please don't feel that. Um, I did upload. Let me get back to the dogs. I did upload over on my Karen and Connie's Crafty Friends group some of the different um, kits and wood pieces that I've done. That's not everything. That's just some things. And I'm going to be uploading, you know, as I go along, whatever I use. Now, like tonight, this won't be over there. Um, but when I do a kit, when I do wood items, he's only 16 months old and he gets a little crazy with the running and jumping and top of us. <laughs> 
Lisa, you need, you need, you really, 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 really need to, um, um, incorporate place into his, into his language. Because place, I tell you, is the most awesome thing, and I never did it with Dudley. He had time out. He knew his cage was time out. But with Sydney, she gets all crazy, all crazy, jumping around. I tell her place, she goes over on the chair, she sits on the chair. And it's like, now she still wants to get attention, and she gets down. You tell her place again. <clears throat> You're never late, Deb. You're never late. But, all right, let's get some brown in this. Hold on a minute. Let me find the brown. Let me find the brown. Let me find the brown. And I'm just going to put, like, a little tiny bit of brown on it. Um, hey, Barbara, how are you? <coughs> But getting back to, oh, that almost fell. But getting back to the barking, seriously, be careful. I mean, really, I mean, if you don't want the dog to bark, you don't want the dog to bark. I get that. But, thank you, Barbara. Because trust me, my dogs annoy the, but, but, And she doesn't get the way so. Okay, that's a, right. That's a different story, exactly. But I know some people, they just want the dogs to stop barking. They don't want them barking. But I'm like, yeah, and then when that stranger comes into your house, they're just going to look at them. See, I don't fear my... Now, honestly, I shouldn't say this out loud. But my dogs would probably lick you to death if you came in my house. Okay? But if you come up onto my porch and they see you, you're going to think twice about coming into my house. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. That's the, that's the, that's the only problem. When you have a dog, you know, a dog that, I mean, sometimes dogs are trained not to bark and just attack and I don't know. Does he, does he listen to Place? Now, Place, they also said, when I learned, they also said that Place should be something up higher. Good Lord. Sydney's only 45 pounds. I can't imagine your 200-pound dog. I don't know how much he weighs now. But, um, exactly. <laughs> Elaine, that's exactly what mine would do. It's like, they, they're so ferocious when you're on the outside. As soon as you come in, all they want to do is, like, jump on you and hug you, and they're probably... They'll probably be like, here, let me show you where the valuables are. But I've had many people, the Amazon people, they come up, they hear them bark, and they throw that stuff on and run. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Melissa, good night. <laughs> All right, so I got a little bit. I'm just going to dry brush a little bit on. Yeah, throw, my, throw them GGs up. I was concentrating over here. But yeah, Sydney, Sydney does the um, stem collar, the tens collar, whatever you want to call it. It's not a shock collar. It's just, it kind of makes your muscle kind of tense up. I mean, they have it in therapy. I mean, people, people use them, so they're not harmless. I didn't want the darn shock collar. I was like, I was afraid when I took her to class, it would be more like the shock collar. So there we have a little bit of brown on them. I don't know if I care for that too much. We're going to see what it looks like on them first. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see if it looks better on. But I'm not too much. We might be painting them back yellow. <laughs> well, 
doesn't look too bad on there. <laughs> Seriously, Barbara, you know, right? <laughs> but when you're outside, don't they, don't, aren't they? Barbara's a witness to it. She knows. But when you're on the, on the outside, don't they sound ferocious? mind that too much. I think that looks okay. Tell me what you guys think. Honestly. Do you like that? Can you see that? Hold them up any. Do you like it like that? We're going to leave it like that. <laughs> so I said, maybe I shouldn't say that out loud too much, but... <laughs> <laughs> what did I use? I used little beads. What do you, what, what do you mean, what did I use? Hello there, Shelly. <laughs> Alright, we're going to put them on. Alright, let me space them where they need to be, and then we're going to make our, our little bow. Alright. Yeah, I wasn't sure when I put it, had it on the tape, I was like, oh, I don't know if I like that brown on there. But when I put it on the green, I kind of liked it a little bit more. Let's get the end ones on first. I am, I am going to put a cute little bow at the top. And we're going to put a little bit of jute around the neck of it. Don't worry, we're not done yet. We're, we, I can't leave it this plain. <laughs> I can't. I just couldn't. I'm not putting much glue on these because... <laughs> maybe, maybe that would deter them too, you know? <laughs> The dogs come up and just lick you to death. I mean, you're, you're going to come home to a to a stranger in your house because mm, the dogs didn't know how to call 911 after they licked them. <laughs> I do find, I do find with my little girl here, my uh, female cattle dog, she is, she's a licker. She's definitely, she's got the mom in her. Definitely. She wants to lick everything on you every time. Not, and I don't mean to sound gross when I say that. But she'll lick your hand. She'll lick your knee. She'll lick your feet. She'll lick your arm. She'll lick your face. She just wants to lick every part of your body that she can get to. She gets in the bed. And she licks Ross more than she licks me. Um, but she gets into the bed when we get to go to bed at night and gets right up there by his pillow and starts licking his face. I don't know. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Deb. All right, so now we have that. I think that looks cute. Now we're going to work on a bow. <coughs> now, I don't have any sunflowers, but we don't need sunflowers because... Because... We are going to use we're going to use and I don't know if I just want I think I'm gonna put this in the background. We're gonna tie some jute around that, but we're gonna make our bow first. I'm gonna use some of this rip to this what do you call this burlap ribbon? Hey there Tammy, how are you? <laughs> how are you my friend? And we're gonna do this one. So we're just gonna make a bow with these two. Because I think if I just use the green, it's not going to show up, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. We will see. And, you know, like I said, I always say I make it bigger than what it needs to be, and I can cut it down, and it always ends up to be the right size. So, <laughs> But I think the green on top would look good with the... Um... Oh, I'm gonna put some raffia on it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. It's not. It's not Connie with that. 
The only thing this is missing, it would be the buffalo check, but I don't think the buffalo check would look good with it. I think they do too. I was a little kind of crazy with the um, brown, but I think once it's on there, on the green, I think it looks a lot better. So, <clears throat> that's her barking, if you can't tell. <laughs> well, let, me, let me do the uh, corners first. <clears throat> and I always, always, <clears throat> we got to put the Ralph. Come on. Ralph has got to be put on. It wouldn't be a completed project without it. <laughs> How are you, Vina? I see lots of new people and new, new names on here. If you are new, please um, let me know where you're watching from. If you've been on and you've just been a silent watcher, welcome, welcome anyway. I mean, <laughs> I do have a lot of them. Or if you're watching this on replay, you know, please... Any questions, message me. And like I said, you know, if you, this, tonight's a different story, but usually on other nights when I'm doing Glowforge things or Cricut things, um, you know, those things you might not be able to get in the store, message me. We, you know, I can do all of it up. Montana's in the house. There you go, Sue. How are you? Now she's barking because the other one's out back barking, but it's annoying, not going to lie to you, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, she's not barking now, see? She knows. Yours knows. You ever see those, um, I watch reels. I like to watch reels. I ain't going to lie to you. They're fun. Um... But there's one that comes on that, you know, play the sound for your dog and see what happens. Well, I've never done a reel for it, but when the sound comes on, Sydney comes over and she's just looking at me like, what's that? Where's that? Where's that toy at? <laughs> Watching from Connecticut. Well, guys, you know, here, here's the thing. Remember, while I'm making this boat, remember, I am currently doing my 50 friends in 50 states, which means, which means, let me explain, that you, now that you're here, you get to do the inviting. You have to invite a friend, family member, neighbor, enemy, co-worker, I mean, anybody that you think might be interested in following along and being part of my page. Um... You invite them, they come on, they say you, you know, but their obviously their name comes up. <clears throat> but so and so invited me, and I'm from the state of whatever. And if that state isn't colored in, I get to color it in. If it is colored in, don't be afraid. You'll still be entered into the gift away. Once I get all 50 states um, filled up. Then I'm going to do a drawing for two people. One for the person that invited, and one for the person that was invited. Does that make sense? So I know I, I, know I get a lot of people then go, Oh, well, I'm from, uh, well, no, you got to invite somebody. The whole thing is so that I can get more followers, more people interested, and bring them on. So if you were invited, like tonight I had a young lady uh, come on, and her mother invited her so she has entered into it along with her mother oh, I don't like the way that came out let's try that one more time didn't like the way that folded and I know when you see a lot of people do these bows they kind of just wrap the ribbon around them and the twine around them and I can never do it that way I have to like literally put my finger in, scrunch the bow together, fold it in, there. And then I hold it, and I take a piece of twine.
Hello, Ida. How are you? There's my sweet Ida. Oh, Barbara, you're the best of sis, too. And we are. We are one big happy family around here. I like to get to know each and every one of you. I know I miss comments. I'm not going to lie to you. Some comments go by quickly, and I don't get to see them. But if there's ever, ever a question, um, you are more than welcome to message Thoughts to Treasures. I am very quick at responding. Well, unless I'm sleeping. <laughs> Usually, I mean, I, I, I'm, up good, I'm up pretty late, so don't ever feel like you can't message me at 2 o'clock in the morning because 90% of the time, I am up. I don't usually go to bed until about 3. Tonight, I will go to bed earlier just because I have fitness tomorrow, and I have to be up and out the door by 9 o'clock. That's early. <laughs> oh, you fell asleep. You fell asleep. Look, every time somebody says they fell asleep, it reminds me of Friends when Ross had to read that 20-page <laughs> um, apology or explanation letter or whatever from Rachel. And she goes, what do you mean you fell asleep? You fell asleep? <laughs> Sorry. I just think it's funny. <laughs> so, I'm just going to scrunch my bow up a little bit. And then we have a cute little bow, which is going to look nice here. And I'm going to put some jute around this. And we're going to put this bow right here. Ooh. And I think that looks perfect there. <laughs> is anybody else a friend lover on here? Because I love friends. I haven't watched any re reruns lately, but um, what am I doing? Jute. Well, thank you, Penny. And this normally doesn't look like this. This is usually that smaller thing, but a certain little dog got his mouth on it. Well, thank you, Sue. So I'm just gonna tie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue it in the back, and we're just gonna tie a little bit around. I'm just gonna get a bunch off first, and then we're gonna tie it on. Just to give it a little bit of some place for the bow rather than Your brother watched. Aw, you're liking the bow. Yeah, that's my. That's my. That's the only way I make bows. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't do them big fluffy bows because I don't know, they never work out. <laughs> they never work out for me. All right, so we're gonna take this amount. I'm gonna start this way. Nope, I'm not blaming Dudley for that. <laughs> it's going to be another one with a little S in the one in, in the beginning. But you were close. <laughs> you were you were a little close. Oh, I said he? Oh, no. That little, that little girl. <laughs> and it does, I'm not going to make this straight. I just want to like crisscross it around. I probably should be doing this from the front. Just to give it a little bit of character. down back here. <laughs> I can't possibly imagine why I said Dudley would have done that. Hold this so it dries. <sighs> no, Sydney did that. She grabbed it and she 
That's part of it. <laughs> There's Angela from Montana. We've got Montana's in the house. We've got Montana's in the house. So what state, if whoever's watching right now and there's, what, 19 people? What state are you watching from? Not the state, the state of confusion is not the answer. Oh, did that? Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> now that I got the right sh uh, sizes. <sighs> Indiana, Vermont. Louisiana, Tennessee, Ohio, Kentucky, Texas, Montana. We got everybody. We got we got all kinds on. Woohoo! I'm halfway around the world. Maryland. We need to let Dudley and Dax chill and <laughs> relax and talk. <laughs> well, yes, we do. Oklahoma. For three more days, then can Oh, are you, are you moving there? Or are you just visiting? All right, so now we got our little... Are you relocating or are you just going from and I stuck my finger in again? It's not hot, but it's just put it back in there for a second. <coughs> Alright, so we're gonna stick our bow just just right under right under that so that you can see it. Moving! Oh no! I mean well, I mean is it a good thing that you're moving? Do you want to move? Are you excited to move? Three more days. Wow, that's just, that's like, that's like Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> that's just like right there. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I know. <laughs> you know, people ask me why don't I go on during the day. I act this silly in the night. Could you imagine what I act like during the day or during the day or during the morning? A good thing. Okay, awesome. As long as it's a good thing. Yeah, there's I don't think anybody wants to be seeing me <coughs> in the AM. <laughs> I said the only way Oh, you're the best this is too, Penny. The only way I could come on in the morning would be if I didn't go to sleep. <laughs> Oh, I'm just, I'm just a mess as it is, and no, you all don't want, not want to see me in the morning. Oh, well, I'm glad you like being here, Lois. Yeah, but like I was saying, if you guys ever have any questions, you're more than free to welcome to message me, um, whether it's something simple or little or anything. Oh, I did want to tell you guys, if anybody does uh, HTV, and I don't know, I mean, I might have missed it too, but it's on for tonight. Our craft source has black um, Sister Easy Weed HTV on sale for $1.35 for a 12 by 15, which is like a 14.75 not quite 15 inches um, on sale so I told you guys I would let you guys know when they have sales on things and that's the sale that they're having right now is the is that I am gonna have to get on there before midnight which I still got time because I was trying to place an order earlier and it didn't work not the site it wouldn't work for my phone I don't know if the weather was kind of screwing things up or what but it, it wasn't working. <laughs> All right. I know, I know, I know this is going to be... That might work. We could do that one. 
these are these are the little flowers that Melissa calls sunny side up eggs. I am going to put a flower in the middle of it. That's what I'm working on right now. And I think I'm going to go with this one. <coughs> I think I'm going to go with this one. Now, I, I, I show you, I, every time I do this, I show everybody and I always find somebody new. See how this poor little flower is like, I don't know, dilapidated. <laughs> Exactly. I, I'm not. I'm not that. I'm just like. Uh -huh. I don't want to move. I. Ain't, uh -huh. I don't drink coffee, but maybe I should. <laughs> so. Oh well, thank you, Linda. That makes me feel good. It's all wonky. It's dilap. We're gonna. We're gonna fix this. Okay. Simply take your little heat tool. And sometimes it takes a bit. Apply that heat. Keep applying it. And now look. Completely different flower, right? I'm telling you. I did not know this. I watched somebody do it and I was just like, Oh, no, I have to share that with everybody. Because now, it's, look how pretty it is. Because, you know, when you go into the Dollar Tree and you see all them flowers all squished together and they're all, look. I pass them by. Nope, nope, don't do it. Don't do it because, look, just a simple little bit of heat. And, I mean, be, be careful because you can scorch your fingers with the heat. I mean, but if you're applying it onto here more than your finger, you're all right. So, just to, if you didn't learn anything, you learned that, right? <laughs> I'm to, don't, don't let my smartness fool you. Don't let it fool you. Don't let it fool you. <laughs> I didn't come up with that. I, I saw somebody do it, and I thought they were the most genius person. And, of course, it's the same, probably the same person that ironed on a, uh, Mod Podge that probably did that, so I don't know. I don't know who started it, but it's a great tip. And if you have those flowers that are all just curled up and you don't want it, you want it flatter, just do it. I think that's a faded sunflower, but it looks good there. See? And it's a cute little box. Now you can, again, you could hang it because we have the little hole so you can hang it. We can put little clips at the bottom to hang your keys on or just some decorations or a little smelly thing. Magic voila, there you go. Or we could sit our bottles in here and you could have it for a little thing on the counter. I mean, there's just endless options. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna use it for or if it's going to be a recipe thing to put little recipes in, that would be cute too. You could put, you could put, I was gonna say my phone, but my phone's up there. You could put your phone in here if there's a charger cord. You know what I mean? If you're charging your phone in the kitchen, instead of it being all over the table or accidentally getting knocked off. Um, oh, thank you, Penny. Thank you, Shelly. But there's like endless options for it. It's so cute. You can put it on your table and have your salt and shaker, pepper shaker in there. Um, I'm trying to think. Lots of different things. <clears throat> All kinds of cool things. All kinds of cool things. napkins and that's why I said on the front of here I was gonna put something on here but I just didn't know what's saying but honestly I don't think it needs it like I said if you could use it for anything you wanted to you could use it for well thank you Tracy 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. See, and again, no, no cricket, no glowforge. Oh my gosh. And I survived it. <laughs> I tease because I do. If you if you don't know me by now, you know I do use a lot of glowforge and cricket stuff. Um, it's my two favorite things. I just love them. So, but that's what we have tonight. And remember, if you're interested in the heat transfer vinyl, I know it was only the black color. Um, Lois invited you, and you live in Mississippi. Ooh, 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 wait a minute. Don't go anywhere. Lisa Hines. Lisa, let me get a pen. Hold on a minute. Lisa, wait a minute. I don't think I have Mississippi. Hold on. Lisa Hines. And Lois invited you. Is that who you said? Lois D E L A R O S A. And you're from Mississippi. Hold on. Let me get the let me get the let me get the thing because I don't think I have Mississippi. Oh my gosh. Let's... Oh, I do have Mississippi. I don't have Alabama. That's okay, you're still on. I do have Mississippi. I don't have the Al Alabama. Right? That's Alabama. That's Mississippi. Yep. Well, that's okay. You're still entered. Well, I appreciate you for following. I hope you I hope you push those follow buttons. You kept dozing off. <laughs> yes, welcome, welcome, and I hope you'll join again. Well, you are so welcome, and thank you for joining me, Deb. I hope you guys come back tomorrow. Like I said, I'm going to be in an event tomorrow. I think I'm on at 8. If I'm not mistaken, I think I'm on at 8. Um, which I didn't think about, but I have my mentor meeting, but that's okay. I can watch the replay on that. Um, oh, thank you, Vina. That's so sweet. So yes, I hope you'll come back. Like I said, I do a lot of Glowforge and Cricket on here. And I've seen a lot of new faces on here. So lots that means new family members for me. And I love new friends and family. Oh, Penny, I know you do. I love you being here. <clears throat> you guys are awesome. And everybody's so warm and welcoming. So it's great. So... Again, I like to always show this at the end, so if somebody's like, what we're doing the replay, they can go fast forward to the end and they'll see it. But this is what we made tonight. I think it's cute. It can sit on your counter. We can hang it up. We can put some... Oh, there's all different options for it. And that is it for tonight. Tomorrow I'll be on, and I hope you'll come join me tomorrow. I'm going to need those GGs and all those comments because I can't stay on long tomorrow because I'm in the event. And I believe it's an hour event, so I'll be on from 8 to 9, I do believe. I'm going to double check and I'm going to post on my page. So, make sure you have... Hello, Tiffany, how are you? Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lois. Um, so, make sure you turn your notifications on so you can see that when I go live, it'll tell you. And from that point, I want to say thank you for being here. I appreciate you all. Y'all are awesome. And I will see you tomorrow. But remember... Thoughts become things and things become treasures. All right, guys, you guys have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow. Love y'all.